Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Scorpio, I've been meditating on it and your word of the day was wronged. Wronged. So you've been wronged. was kind of coming to me was as much as it, it was the word wrong wronged it was also yeah but you weren't wrong you've been wronged but you were right you kind of you kind of knew that this was coming you were right but you were wronged <laughs> sorry oh my mind my mind goes to strange places when i meditate i think most people do that Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You can only book a private reading with me if you go to my website. That's the only way. It's the only legitimate way. Any other way, like if I come to you and I'm up in your DMs or I'm sending you messages in any way, that's not me. That's someone scamming you, someone pretending to be me. So don't fall for it wronged for scorpio mm, yes for sure you got the moon here for the cause of what's going on here it uh it was not the best thing to happen let's put it that way it was uh it was it was a pretty bad day that day i got i got a feeling you're kind of having a conversation with someone. It's been a pretty bad day. As, as I'm hearing you say that. Let me know in the comments below. Like, yeah, I've had a really bad day. I'm trying to sort of see the... Uh, I don't know. The levity in it. I'm trying to be like, yeah, yeah, today sucked. Because, you know, this person totally broke my heart. This person really wronged the hell out of me. And I'm trying to, you know be okay with it but you know the minute I put this phone down I'm going to tear my hair out and cry you've been cap sorry you've been kind of uh I feel, I feel like this might have been very recently it's been a few days where you've been like right I'm off radar I'm way off radar nobody talks to me I need to uh I need to get my head together. Let me know in the comments below. It's like, almost in a way you guys had it all. They had it all with you. Everything that they ever wanted. And I think they even said it to you. You're everything I ever wanted in a relationship. And they had it. So what's with the wandering eye then, mate? They're like, I've got you. You're everything I wanted. That's hot. Let's go check that out. Excuse me a minute while I... Did you have to tell this person once while you were out and they got a little bit maybe inebriated? Did you have to tell this person... Sorry, but I'm the person you came with and, and uh, I'll be the person that you'll be leaving with and have to tell the other person that they were talking to. I'm sorry. I do apologise. I feel like you were quite polite about it. Let me know in the comments below. I feel like you are quite polite about it. Like, I do apologise. Uh, this is my boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Whichever one it is. This is my partner. Uh... They're a bit inebriated. I do apologise that I've been chatting you up all evening. And uh, I, I, I am sorry, sorry. I'll be taking them home now. Sorry that they wasted your time and mine. Good night. You sort of let that go, I think, as a sort of, well, you know, they were a bit drunk, so I'll let them off. But that uh, is actually how this person behaves.
when you're not there as well. I see them saying to you, like, uh, I don't want to lose you because, you know, I wouldn't do anything bad because you mean too much to me so I wouldn't want to lose you so you know I wouldn't cheat on you I wouldn't do any of that you know yeah I messed up the other night you know it was just I had too much to drink I was misbehaving but this is how this person does this this is their modus operandi I think dropping the cards these ones are like no, I don't want to be red, but, you know. We're reading you now. All right, what's coming up in the near future? You've taken some time out here. You've, you've gone off radar. I see that. This is your little bit of healing time you need for yourself. You're not, you know, you know, people are calling, your friends are calling, you just you don't answer, but you send a message. I'm fine, I'm fine, I just need, just need a couple of days. Just give me some space, I'll be all right. Oh, this is nice. Somebody you quite look up to is going to come in and, and be there for you. That's nice. Somebody, somebody who's like... Probably actually potentially your next love interest, weirdly enough. But... Uh, Somebody's going to come in, somebody you care about, somebody who you actually look up to. That's that's more how I see it. Some of you like, like kind of a little bit hero worship and they're going to come in and be like, oh, you're right. A cup of tea, I'll make you a sandwich. Watch a bit of TV together. Oh, this is really nice. This is a, a real healing energy comes in and it's sort of a side of this person that you haven't seen before, even though you sort of hero worship this person a little bit. I would say uh, don't jump into bed with this person straight away because this has potential to be something actually really lovely and you don't want to do something on the rebound with this person. Okay? That's a completely separate story from the rest of this reading. Maybe a Taurus. Anything else? Well, yeah. Don't do anything rash by jumping into bed with this person because uh, you will be on the rebound. You'll be confused and not know what to do about it. So, yeah, just... Uh, I would say just enjoy this person coming in and having a shoulder to cry and it'd be nice moving back on to the person from the past yeah okay they're coming up again actually i didn't notice that funny here's how you need to deal with it so this is you in, in the future when we've got the devil here, I'm, I'm sort of seeing because uh, you're in a, a negative energy because you're re ending a relationship. So you don't want to be jumping into bed with somebody else who has the potential to be something actually really good in your life. This is a very naughty, sexy energy that you need to sort of, ooh, let's just calm it down, calm it down. They're coming up again. Uh, this is someone special in your life. Again, I'm getting a Taurus energy. Moreover than any other sign. Maybe Virgo Capricorn. Maybe an air sign. But m mostly Taurus. I'm going to be honest with you there. So, they're coming back up. Let's take a look at them. They're, they have been through a lot of crap from they're walking away from things I, yeah yeah i think you both might just mess this up by jumping into bed with each other on a rebound 
I think you can talk about it and say, I'm very, very attracted to you right now, but I'm also like just ending a relationship and wow, this will be awesome when I'm not completely broken by someone else. Shall we, uh, shall we look into this in a few weeks or months time when we're both in a better place emotionally? Because I think this could be awesome. And I don't want to mess it up. How about that? Let's take a look at the outcome here. We've got the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are they are definitely coming in. in. Um with this person that you have it says the potential it has it has some sort of uh it has a future it looks like um just don't rush it with the knight of wands don't rush it take it easy don't don't make it difficult on yourself give yourself time to heal give themselves time to heal you know be be that independent person you don't need somebody right now you know you're taking a bit of time out and uh going off radar that's good for you you know do what you need to do, meditate, see a therapist, whatever it is that makes you, you know, it's, it's going to help you move forwards. And uh, this could be, yeah, I'd say look out for an earth sign. This could be pretty special. Someone perhaps a little bit older and someone that you look up to. But well, let's... I was going to read about the person from the past that you've split up with, that, you know, I I was going to ask about them, but I sort of, I'm, I'm actually a little bit stuck as to uh, how to proceed with this extended. I'm going to ask about the person from the past, how they feel about you, the person you broke up with, I mean, and uh, who wronged you. But this reading sort of gone more into what's coming up, because it's, it's, yeah, you've been wronged. But something else is coming in. Lovely. Something really lovely. I'm going to ask about the person from the past. How they feel about you. What are their intentions towards you. Uh, what they want to say to you. And some guidance from the universe. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask when this other person's coming in. Hold your vision. What are you looking for here? Ready to see yourself in a year's time. Keep holding that vision. It's coming. Do I want to know? By the Arctic Monkeys. Because there's this tune I found that makes me think of you somehow. And I'll play it on repeat till I fall asleep. Spilling drinks on my city. This is the kind of thing that I was uh, having this date with this, well, I was dating this person, you know, in the last couple of weeks. It's been nice talking to somebody, but, you know, we'd send each other songs and it was like, wow, I don't like that song. And I'd send them to him and he'd be like, yeah, it's not really, I'm not really feeling it. I'm like, what? What? Speak now, forever hold your peace by Cheap Trick. You're not feeling that? Favourite song in all the world. How freaking dare you? Honestly. So that was death nail for <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you uh, want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. Link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. See you later.